In this video tutorial would like to tell you how to connect to the cloud ACS. We shall explain you the sequence of steps related to registration, creating instances, and connecting your devices. Registration The registration procedure in the cloud ACS is quite simple and very intuitive. In the upper right corner or in the bottom of the cover page click the register button to follow the simple registration steps. In the dialog box that appears, fill in the fields regarding personal data, your email address, company name, company country and set, and then confirm a password for future login. The required items are marked with an asterisk. We draw your attention to the fact that the entered information will be used exclusively for your identification when you log into the system. We maintain strict confidentiality with respect to our customers and their information. If the information is entered correctly, an email will be sent to your email address with a link by clicking on which you confirm your actions, after which the registration process will be considered complete. Once your account is verified you can log in and create an instance. Creating Instances After entering your username and password, you will be taken to the dashboard where will be displayed your account information, a list of packages available for purchase, and a field in which will be displayed in future instances. To create an instance select the package that best meets your needs. Each package description specifies the minimum and maximum number of connected devices, the maximum number of user accounts, types of diagnostics, and the possibility of mass scale operations. If you have selected a package that meets your requirements click on the Create Instance button. Some of the packages are free and serve to demonstrate the capabilities of our service. To select them, click the Request Access button. Before you create an instance we recommend you to top up your e-wallet balance. You can do this by clicking the top up balance button in the account section. The funds can be credited through the Stripe online payment system, with the help of which individuals and legal entities make money transfers. Now let's start creating an instance. When creating an instance, the first step is to choose the number of devices you will use. Then give the instance an identification number and name. In some cases, CPE devices are connected via a NAT gateway, in which case, the device is assigned a private IP address. ACS can still manage them, but with a limitation for HTTP connection requests. For such cases, we recommend you to use devices that support XMPP connection requests and UDP connection request via STUN. We also offer special approach via proxy. You can enable the mechanism by enabling STUN, XMPP, or proxy support. If you want to get the most out of your options, enable advanced settings. Select all possible diagnostic types, upload, download, IP ping, UDP echo, traceroute, NS lookup, or only necessary. These settings have no effect on pricing. You can always change them later and use the default settings in most cases. Make sure that all settings are correct and confirm them by clicking the Create New Instance button. If all the procedures required to create an instance have been completed, the name and identification number of the instance will appear in a special field. After creating an instance you will receive a link to the web user interface, username and password. You can now open the UI of your instance using the URL and credentials. For CPE connection you must use ACS URL. After successful login you can open Support Portal and get an overview of all managed devices. A demo CPE with a serial number DMS device will be available to demonstrate the functionality of the platform. By clicking the gear icon, you can start managing the device in your instance. As you can see, in a couple of minutes you will have your own ACS in the cloud. The number of created instances accounts and tested devices depends on the package that you will choose. Making changes to already open instances, changing the number of service devices, settings, parameters, can be done only by pressing the edit button and implement it online, instantly and simply. You can also run different ACS servers for B2B or B2C clients at the same time. As you can see the process itself is very simple and does not take much time. We are confident that the information presented in our video tutorial was useful to you. If you still have any questions, 
please apply to our support team via email contact at tr069.pro and we will be happy to help you.